What's going on YouTube? Jolly from JollyTheMarketer.com here back again with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up your Facebook pixel on your ClickFunnel landing pages. So this is going to be a really quick tutorial but a, an effective tutorial because a lot of people have questions on whether or not their pixel is set up correctly. So I'm going to show you the best practice that I've been doing for the last year and what's been working for me. But before we get into that, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. I'm always posting new content, different type of content um, every single day. So definitely hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. So let's get right into it. So what you need to do is you need to head over to business.facebook.com. And if you don't have a, a business account, you're going to want to set one up. It's completely free. Um, and then once you're actually inside of your business manager, you can give your, um, your, your account a name. And then once you actually give your account a name, it should have a setup process saying, you know, set up your pixel. But if you already have this, you've done this prior, and you you know you didn't really know how to set it up, then all you need to do to actually get to your pixel is hit this little drop down hamburger menu, and you want to go to all tools, and then you would want to go to under events and manager, go to pixels. Um, so once you have done that, you will then be brought to this area where it is showing you your different data sources that you have for this particular um, ad account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click on this. And what we're going to do now is we're going to, um, we're going to go to click setup. Sorry. Um, they moved it. So I was kind of looking for it there. Um, but once you click setup, what you're going to do is you have uh, different options. So you can use integration or tag manager. What I like to do is I like to manually install the code myself just because there's no really type of third party integration for click funnels. Um, so what you're going to do is you want to copy this. So just hover over here and just click on copy to uh, clipping board. You can, you can uh, toggle on this button, which it says turn on automatic advanced matching. I don't really have any real data behind whether or not this improves conversions or anything, um, but it does seem that it, it works. So we're going to click on the copy and then we're going to go back to our ClickFunnels landing page and we're going to click on exit out of this particular page. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to the head tracking code. And this, when we go to this settings here, this is the funnel wide setting. So this setting icon is actually for every single funnel step in this particular funnel. Um, this will actually apply. So once we add this code, it's going to basically apply this code to every single one of these steps. So we don't, so we don't have to do this every single time individually. So what we're going to do is just paste this here. This is already done before, so I'm not going to save it. But all you would do is go to the head tracking area and just paste that code there that you added before. Um, and then once you once you do that, um, you just want to click on save and update settings. Okay, so we will click on save and update settings. All right, we're good to go there. And then what we're able to do now um, is we're going to actually go back here. So we're going to go back to our business manager. And you can see we don't actually have to send test traffic because it's been working in the last hour, but you can definitely send test traffic to make sure that it is um, set up correctly. And then once you have done that, just click on continue. Um, and then from here, you're going to be able to add different events. Okay, so you can see here, Facebook tells you an event is any action on your website that can be tracked, such as when someone clicks a button or visits a page. Okay, so let's say that we want for this particular um, for this particular page, for example, let's say we, we want to make sure that this has a view content on this on this area. So if someone were to go to this page and they were viewing our content, we will want to actually track that. So let's um, add that. So all we need to do is find the view content. Click on that. And then you just want to click on this code here. And then you can also add different event parameters like um, the conversion value, for example, if this was a price or a product that you were um, selling, you can set up a conversion value so then Facebook knows, oh, okay, this person landed on this page, meaning that they um, either bought something that was this conversion or there's a value that is associated with them landing on that page, if that makes sense. So what you're going to do is you just want to click on um, this code, just like we did the pixel, and then all we're going to do is go to settings, go to tracking code, and then uh, I would put this in the footer, honestly. Um, I know Facebook tells you to put it in, I believe, in the header. Um, but from working at ClickFunnels and seeing a lot of different er uh, errors people have done, 
Um, a lot of issues occur when you put code in the header code. So I would recommend just leaving it in the footer, which still tracks it. It just happens um, at a at a slower rate, basically. So basically, if any code that's in the header code gets loaded first, whereas code in the footer code gets loaded last. So um, this can help or hurt you depending on if someone were to go on your page and they they stay, um, they they actually exit before this actually loads. So um, that's pretty pretty much the only difference there. So if you click on save, um, what's going to happen now is anyone that lands on this page and views the content, um, it's going to get tracked with inside of Facebook, and then we can add um, we could definitely um, make different lookalike audiences based on the view contents, or we can uh, set up different. Um, custom audiences based on what people have done on that particular page. So that is pretty much it. They do have a Pixel Helper, which is a Chrome uh, tool that you could definitely install. My browser is Brave, and I do have this on my Chrome browser, but typically I'm in Brave because the CPU is lower, but that's a different story. So that's pretty much all you have to do. This is what's been working for me, and um, this is basically how I run my uh, Pixel data is that set up the funnel wide settings and then having the event the individual event codes on the individual pages if that makes sense so it's very simple very easy not complex and if you have any questions definitely let me know you know if you find this to be hard and i can kind of hopefully maybe help you um but if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe and hit that alert button and like i said if you have any comments or suggestions leave those down below i'm always interacting with you guys so i would love to know um what you think about this so i'll see you guys in the next video bye